Hello everyone, welcome to the SMSR Championship, supported and powered by ESL. This is round 9 and it's the final round of the championship. Uh, this is uh, my qualifying lap and as you can see at the moment I am on pole for the GT3 class. Now this is one of my favourite tracks in any game and weirdly in any game I can come here and instantly go fast. So in my practice runs I know exactly what I'm after and things like that. Uh, so uh, I was pushing hard and I believe every qualifying lap bar one gets me a pole lap. <laughs> That's how fast I was. And the only one that didn't was by like half a tenth. Um, so yeah. This is a pole lap for GT3. Get a 35.9 there. Uh, not the best first sector at all there really. Uh, you are looking for a 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. But we continue on nonetheless. Uh, and as I say, this is one of my favourite tracks. So I wanted to win here and that's the only thing I could go for in this championship was the most wins. So Yuhan was on three, I was on three, uh, you've got Popsu on one and Vernux on one. And Vernux is obviously uh, in second at the moment in this class. And uh, yeah, that was my goal. So I'd practiced a little bit more. I'd also done a race simulation. Uh, thing with this uh, round as well, we're on 10 times progression. Uh, so you get a 37 4 middle. Uh, you can get a 0.3 there, but a 0.4 is pretty good to be honest. It's very hard to get in the 0.3s. Uh, so 10 times uh, time progression, which means we'll go into the dusk basically. Yeah, we'll have a bit of a sunset and then the, the race will end. As we head towards the chicane, now in the rules, GT3 cars are using in-game rules. Uh, uh, you know, the penalties, not white line. So, you know, if you're a Formula 1 driver and you get told you can use the curbs, you'd use them. So, in this case, it's in-game penalties. I know exactly what I can do. So, on that, on that chicane, I'm using all the curb as much as I can. Uh, to get the best lap. A 40.0 there, you're looking for a 39.9 and the total lap of 153.4, so three attempts. Got pulled by three attempts uh, and I was really, th I mean, that wasn't even my best lap. Uh, my best lap on this track is a 0.2 and you can get a 152.8. You may have saw my potential there as a 152.8. Now, I don't know anybody who's been in the 52s yet for in a default setup, but I'm pretty sure uh, I can do it. Anyway, here's the start of the race. So, Paul, here we go. We set off. I thought that was a pretty good start. Uh, but you're going to see uh, Popsu just fly by everybody. And I'm not sure how he did it, but he went from fourth to first. So, unless the green light didn't sync up properly um, again. Uh, so, some people are getting the green light a little bit earlier than others. Uh, that could be possible. Uh, so, I'll just get a slight nudge there um, from Vernox. I, it's just three cars wide. He was trying to avoid the car on the inside. So, no worries there, you know. And uh, I'm going to drop to third position here. Just having a little fight with Vernox here, so it's pretty good stuff. Uh, I know Vernox is clean as well, so we can have side-by-side -side racing. So give him a bit of room on the inside there. Uh, and through I go, I've got a bit more momentum on the outside line, uh, so I do get that third position. I'm not too worried at this point about being in third position in the class because, I, as I, say, I said earlier, nearly every single qualifying lap I did would have been pole. So I know I've got the speed in me to overtake Pops with a new hand, and this is a good trap for overtaking. So I can just buy in my time, uh, just build up my rhythm slowly uh, and really go for it. Uh, you may have seen the length of the video, so there is definitely going to be parts of this where you'll be able to just watch the action uh, and then other parts where I will commentate on, of course. Uh, so I'm just showing my nose a little bit here to Popsu. Uh, I'm just trying to get him nervous quite early on because uh, I do want to get the job done straight away so I can just pull away as fast as I can. Uh, and try and get that 152 lap as well. You can see that on my potential there, 152.8. Um, definitely possible. Popsu just uh, tries to go for, for a move on you hand there. Not really on, to be honest. It did cost him there. Uh, but I'm now going to have a bit of momentum onto Popsu. So I'm going to go straight to the inside here. Uh, I was a bit worried here. I wasn't sure how much I'd understeer outwards. So it was just fine there. Look how close that is. Really good racing. Uh, and um, I'm trying to outbreak Popsu into this. I just clipped the grass a little bit, which just forces me too wide. Uh, Popsu gives me room on the inside there, very well played, but that compromises my exit. So Vernox is then on my tail as we come into the last corner there. So I just gave Vernox a little bit of room there. But I'd say one of my favourite tracks. I know every little bit of this track and where to gain the advantage. Um, so through we go. Uh, still in third place. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on. So coming into this first corner, I can see behind me, everyone's breaking fine. Coming into this first corner, look at that McLaren suddenly appear out of nowhere, bam, hits me. Now, um, you'll just see my face now, I'm furious, because that was a massive hit. That was like, no way he was going to make the corner there. So you'll see me constantly looking behind, trying to work out who it was. I know it wasn't Vernox, because as I say, I checked my mirror on the braking, just in case anyone does dive bomb. 
Burnox didn't do it. The car behind didn't do it, which was Steven. It was uh, Mike Hoffman who did it. Um, and I still don't get why he hit me. So basically, he completely outbroke himself. But there was a gap between me and Vernox, and he didn't take it. He, he chose to hit me to make sure he stayed on, rather than go for the gap. And that, honestly, you'll see my face. I'm so angry at this point, because that's just ruined my race, I think. You'll have seen then straight after that, I couldn't turn left properly. Uh, so I'm having to adjust my driving style on the fly this lap. I'm trying to experiment at this point. I nearly quit. It was that bad, I was just thought, do you know what? I can't be bothered with this. I can't believe that's happened. Um, I nearly, nearly quit. So on the left, right, um, at the start of sector two, I was, I, my, my thumb was hovering the start button. But you can see there, the left hand of the Schumacher S, again, just just understates, washing out. Uh, but I can see I'm just keeping up with Vernox here. So I'm thinking, okay, we're not going to quit. We never quit. So do we need to pit? So this is what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, so continue on. You'll see me put my hand up constantly. That's not a Vernox at all. It's just the fact I'm furious that someone hit me like that for no reason whatsoever. And uh, so we're coming to the chicane and I'm thinking, I'm still with Vernox here. I'm still with Popsu. I can still see Yuhan. I'm going to give it one lap. One lap. And you can see him constantly yapping and just raging at this point. Uh, so Devil Horns are coming out now. Uh, I'm really wanting to just go for this and absolutely annihilate either the fastest lap or just, you know, try and get, get some positions. So I'm giving it one lap at this point. Can I keep up with Vernox or actually catch them so I can see Vernox is uh, racing fine I can see we are slowly catching Popsu as well here so I'm thinking okay right just get this done get the move done and honestly I'm so furious at this point uh, and I'm trying to work out my braking at the same time so into that corner that left hander there where I couldn't turn at all first time I can't trail brake half as much as I, I normally could uh, so the, my braking changed from uh, trail braking all the way in to braking hard, initial trail brake, come off the brake, let it roll a little bit, brake, let it roll a bit, brake, and do it that way. And that seemed to work. The right-handers, I'm completely fine. The left-handers and trail braking, I could not do. So uh, we're keeping up. At this point, I've decided, yeah, no need to pit. We're catching Popsu here as well. Uh, we can go for this. Uh, we're still in this race somehow, even with this stupid damage. And the damage cost me about half a second a lap. Uh, pretty much uh, so I'm adjusting my lines here you can see I'm taking more curve on the inside here I'm just trying to get an idea of how much I need to take because uh, the car is damaged so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to leave you a little bit with this battle for third place at the moment third place obviously a podium position uh, and the battle with Vernux So through past Vernux we went, that was a pretty good move, I could see he was just running a little bit wide down the right hander, took as much as I could of the inside, uh, if you took any more they would have been penalty, uh, just took enough, side by side through there, great battle with Vernux, I know he's a clean racer, he's an awesome guy, so uh, yes we get that position, we get third position, and as you can see I've caught up to pop two now, as I fast forwarded a bit later on, so now it's the battle for second place with Popsu, uh, we're obviously 9 minutes 50 seconds into the race, so I can still win this at the moment. Can still win this I'm actually you know I'm actually going for this now and you'll if, if you have a look at the webcam you'll see my tongue doing its weird thing when I drive I don't quite get why I even do that to be honest uh, but I'm obviously in concentration mode now when I go for it so once again I'm gonna leave your battle uh, with the battle now for second place um, 
and you'll see me trying to, you know, make Pop 2 a bit scared here and, you know, make him a bit nervous. My lights are on to just try and get at the position any way I can. Um, and uh, went for a cheeky little look there, but obviously he closed the door, which is fine because he was too far back. But yes, enjoy this battle for second position. And that second position, you just saw there on into the first turn, I tried to keep it on the apex so that perhaps you couldn't get the undercut back on me. It's very common there, um, but I knew exactly what I was doing there. Slow it down enough so that he has to come in behind. Second position. Oh, right, so you can see we're three and a half seconds behind you, Ham. Uh, you know, just uh, under halfway through the race, so uh, can we do it is the question. We, As I say, we're half a second down on our on our speed, four, well, four to five temps down. Uh, but if we advance further on, so we're now 20 minutes into it, I'm 1.2 seconds behind you, Han. I've been pushing hard, and we've got the first of the LMP2 cars passing me there, so that's Storm. Uh, you're going to see me here race extremely, uh, not aggressively, but proper to Le Mans rules, so I ain't moving off the racing line. I don't care who's behind me. Um, I'm staying where I am, and they can either wait to pass me um, or you know, overtake me cleanly wherever, uh, because I can't lose any time to Yuhan at all with this damage, and especially going to some corners. Um, so, 1.2 seconds behind, I'm going to be fairly aggressive here, so uh, like there for example, I was more to the right than next to the curb to show Rotax where I was going. Uh, Rotax may have misjudged it in the middle of the corner there, but he's going to go past me after. Uh, you'll see me constantly flash people over because I just want slipstream, I want to gain every little tenth, hundredth, whatever to try and catch Yuhan. And uh, once again, trail breaking, I went to trail break there. I I'm so used to trail breaking, I just made a little mistake there um, going into the first turn. Uh, so it cost me tenth or two. Um, but you can see there exactly how I'm driving now. I'm more pointing at the corner and just trying to get uh, the car in eventually. Um, it's really difficult. So man gators. I say I'm sticking on my racing line. He's going to go to the inside, which is fair enough. You know, I'll let him go at that point. I'm only going to lose a tenth uh, if that there. Uh, driver R1 is just going to catch me at the wrong time there. It's my line, so you'll have to go around the outside. He does that absolutely fine. He's made enough room. On he goes. Well played there, driver. Or driver R1, should I say. Um, so continue on. So Yuhan's going to be quite compromised there by Mangator. Yuhan can't be that, um, that nice to these guys either because I am chasing him as well. Now I have caught up two seconds at this point. Uh, so Michael's next up to overtake me. Johan's been compromised massively on the Schumacher rest there. Uh, so I gained a fair few temps there. Michael misunderstood there where I was going. I did try and keep it in the middle to make him clear that I was going to the right. Uh, but even so, he got past fine, so no problem there. Um, Johan was very kind to Michael there. Very, very kind, but that brought me right into the picture. And we're three temps behind Johan now. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave you with this battle uh, for a little while. Uh, you're going to see LMP2 cars coming. As I said, I'm going to keep that rule that I'm sticking to the racing line. Uh, they've got to go around me if they want to uh, if they want to get past. Because um, I'm allowed to race. And in any multi-class racing, really, it's up to the passing car to overtake. Not up to the uh, GT car to get out of the way. But uh, hopefully you enjoy these next few minutes of racing. Uh, because it was pretty good going. 
uh, and uh, fairly good fun as well. So enjoy, and I'll speak to you again soon. So I was just going to jump back in there, slight mistake there by uh, me, this was caught on stream as well, um, basically two cars there battling, uh, I did say I'm going to keep my racing line where I can but I can't take the racing line if there's a car there, you know, LMP2 car there, he's gone to overtake, so um, I tried to just, I, I broke actually early there to be honest, uh, and I tried to turn just on the outside line, didn't work, uh, obviously the damage is obviously meant that I couldn't do that for some reason, not sure why. Uh, just flash Hades over there because I want a bit of slipstream. Um, so on stream they said, oh, he's not going to catch that up now. Ah, uh, never say never. Uh, so Johan gets compromised there into the chicane. Uh, I'm really quick through the chicane. Um, I quite, I understand it quite well. Uh, I'm going to explain it in the tr uh, track guide as well of Nürburgring. Um, I've, bang I've banged down about track guides and then it's disappeared again. There's one coming this week, don't worry. Just to explain uh, what I'm going to do in Project Cars 2 with track guides. Uh, but back to this race uh, we're racing new hand now I know there's only five temps there there's no other LMP cars uh, coming behind us because Hades is in 12th new hands in 13th so let's see what we can do So I'm just going to jump back in here, you can see that I'm running wide on a few corners. Now I'm starting to notice this now and I'm starting to see Yuhan pull away a bit. Now when I did my race sim, so I did a full 30 
minute race uh, prior to this, earlier on on the Saturday, um, it's at this part of the session where you get quicker and quicker, and yet I was getting slower and slower, and my braking wasn't working as, as well as it should be. So what I think has happened at this point is the damage that I've got um, has meant that as the temperatures got cooler, that for whatever reason I now can't brake as effectively, or maybe it's downforce, an issue with downforce. I'm actually braking early there for the chicane, and I nearly don't make it. I nearly got a shortcut penalty. I tell you what, I miss, must have missed that by like an inch, uh, getting a penalty there. By that point, it's 1.7 seconds, and I realise the game is up. We've got one lap to go. There's no way I'm catching the second on you hand in one lap, uh, especially with um, the brakes not working as effectively. So, am I going to keep this position? Uh, is uh, the main question here. So, we advance a bit further on. You can see I've lost another second to you hand. I've lost uh, nearly a second to Vernux as well. Um, and you can see how angry I am in, in that webcam still. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the SMSR Championship for the challenges. Um, I say the challenges, the pros go on to the World Gamescom final. Uh, so that's SDL, TRL, CAR, VP and BAM. They're the top five teams. Uh, the other teams didn't make it, so ESG or TIET3. And uh, yeah, the challenges are over. Uh, fair play, congratulations to you, Han, uh, winning the championship and also getting the most wins in the end as well because I know we were fighting for that in that last race. Uh, very well played to you, Han. Some great driving throughout the season. Um, I was never going to win it anyway because I missed two rounds, of course, uh, due to the Overclockers UK Racing Championship. Uh, but I was frustrated with this race. Uh, even though I got the fastest lap and came second, and retrospectively, you know, you look at it and you go, okay, that was fair enough. Uh, I could have won this race uh, quite easily. Um, if I didn't have the damage, uh, the speed I had uh, was incredible. Um, I just say that I hope you get banned for that. Uh, so Mike Hoffman did get penalised. He got two penalty points against him on the ES on the ESL page. Person, but basically they said he didn't mean it. But personally, in my opinion, uh, when you have a choice like that to either hit a car, or you know you've you got the choice of going in between two cars, your race is over essentially because you'll hit the barrier full on, or you hit another car, and it saves your car a little bit, but you harm their race, and you choose that one. I don't think that's fair in my mind. But as I say, there's a set of rules and they go by those rules. Uh, so that's the end of that. Um, I've still enjoyed racing. A uh, big thank you to anyone who supported me in this championship. Watch the live streams, etc. Watch the videos, support me that way. Um, it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, and you should see more of Team GTA in the future in this championship. Uh, we were prepping PCs ready just in case we did get invited to this um, uh, as pros, but we didn't. So I said I'd represent everybody here because I've got the PC for videos, of course. Uh, I'd represent Team GTA and try and do the best I could. But uh, that's the end of the SMSR Championship. So uh, there's a video playlist there of all the championship rounds that I did do. Uh, it's missing obviously Spa and Watkins Glen. And uh, there's my logo there. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you like. Dislike if you dislike. Make sure you leave a comment. Um, you know, to say what you like, what you dislike. Uh, your thoughts on the championship. Uh, but there'll be plenty more from uh, Team GTA. Uh, make sure you check out the description for the Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, and myself as well in these future Project Cars Championships. Uh, but I'll see you next time.